Welcome to my channel. In this video, I have a very nice Olympiad question to solve. 8 to power x plus 27 to power x all over 12 to power x plus 18 to power x is equal to 7 over 6. Before I proceed, I would like you to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and also share this video. We also, I would also like to read your comments in the comment section. Now, to proceed, I'll first of all express these as, as a number in base 2 and this one as a number in base 3. The same thing with this one and I'll also do the same thing here. So it becomes 8 to power x becomes 2 to power 3 to power x plus 27 is 3 to power 3. To power x all over 12 is 4 times 3 let's put the power x there plus 18 is 9 times 2 to power x it is equal to 7 over 6 now in indices let us remember that if i have a to power m bracket n I can flip or interchange the uh, positions of the power that becomes a to power n m so I will apply this law in this case it becomes 2 to power x bracket to power 3 plus 3 to power x bracket power 3 all over now also in indices if I have a times b to power n it is the same thing as a to power n times b to power n so since they are the same thing i will apply this law here that becomes 4 to power x times 3 to power x plus also here 9 to power x times 2 to power x then let me express uh, 4 as a number in base 2 and also 9 as a number in base 3. So it becomes 2 to power x to power 3 plus 3 to power x to power 3 all over 4 becomes 2 to power x to power 2. Now I've expressed, expressed it just as in these cases. Now 3 to power x plus 9 is 3 to power x to power 2 times 2 to power x. Now we need to make one crucial substitution or assumption rather. Let us assume that 2 to power x is equal to a and 3 to power x is equal to b. So I'll put this, I'll put this for this here. And where I, wherever I see 2 to power x, I will put a there. And wherever I see 3 to power x, I will put b in place of it. That becomes a to power 3 plus b to power 3 over a to power 2 times b plus b to power 2 times a. Let's remember that they are all equal to 7 over 6 7 over 6 and then 7 over 6 because it is an equation and not just a mathematical expression now i need to make another substitution if i am given a plus b raised to power 3 using um binomial expansion i will have a raised to power 3 plus 3 a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube so it becomes a cube plus b cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared this term is what i have here so i can make it make this term these two terms the subjects of the of this equation so what i have here is a plus b to power 3 now it becomes a plus b to power 3 minus 3a squared b minus 3ab squared is equal to a cube plus b cube. 
I can factorize 3ab from this side. That becomes a plus b to power 3 minus 3ab. It will remain a plus b is equal to a3 a to power q 3 plus b to power 3. So we are um, progressing. So I will have to substitute a to power 3 plus b to power 3 for this inside and then factorize the denominator. So let me go up. What I have now is a plus b all raised to power 3 minus 3ab bracket a plus b all over a b is common what i'm doing now is this i'm not factorizing a b out here a b is common remaining a plus b let's remember it is equal to 7 over 6 because it is an equation now i can still factorize a plus b out of the numerator and then it will cancel this term so a plus b factorize it out remaining a plus b squared or squared minus 3ab close bracket over ab then a plus b is equal to 7 over 6 so this will cancel this what i have left is a plus b all squared minus 3ab over ab is equal to 7 over 6 let me open these brackets opening the bracket i have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus 3ab is equal to a b equals to 7 over 6 now 2 a b minus 3 a b will give me minus a b so a squared minus a b plus b squared over a b is equal to 7 over 6 i can now cross multiply this um, equation so if i cross multiply 6 will multiply the numerator 6 a squared minus 6 a b plus 6 b squared is equal to 7 we'll multiply the denominator 7 a b let's bring the this term to this side 6 a squared minus minus 6 a b minus 7 a b because when it cross it becomes a minus the sign changes to minus i have 13 a b plus 6 b squared is equal to 0. i now have a quadratic equation so the sum of this equation is minus 13 a b and the product of this equation is 6 times 6 36 that's 36 a squared b squared i will look for factors of 36 such that when i add them together i will have 13 the factors of 36 that will give me 13 when added are 9 and 4 so i have 6 a squared minus 9 a b minus 4 a b plus 6 b squared is equal to 0 9 a b minus 4 a b will give me minus 13 so let me group the common factor here is 3a i'll bring it out remaining 2a minus 3b common factor here is 2b let me bring it out minus 2b rather minus 2b is common here it remains 2a minus 3b is equal to zero let me take one of these brackets 2a minus 3b and put these ones in a bracket 3a minus 2b is equal to zero so i'll equate each bracket now to zero so 2a minus 3b is equal to zero or 3a minus 2b is equal to zero in that case 2a is equal to 3b or 3a is equal to 2b let us remember that we made a substitution or an assumption 2 raised to power x is equal to a and 3 raised to power x is equal to b so let us put the value of 2 to power x and 3 to power x for a and b respectively in these equations so this is the first one becomes 2 brackets 2 to power x is equal to 3 bracket 3 to power x or here becomes 
3 brackets 2 to power x is equal to 2 brackets 3 to power x. Now let us collect all the x's in one side and all the um, constants in the other side. So 2 to power x over 3 to power x is equal to 3 over 2. And or rather 2 to power x over 3 to power x is equal to 2 over 3. I will collect, or I will apply a law of indices here. 2 power x is equal to 3 over 2. In that, in, in that law, if I have a to power n over b to power n, it is a over b to power n. That is what I applied here. I will also apply it here. Or 2 to power 3, sorry, 2 over 3 to power x is equal to 2 over 3. Now, this is the reciprocal of this. Now, 2 to power, 2 over 3, rather, to power x equals to 1 over 2 over 3, which is the same thing as 2 over 3 raised to power minus 1. So, or I have 2 over 3 to power x equals to 2 over 3 to power 1. So, if I express this, in indices, it becomes 2 over 3 to power x is equal to 2 over 3 to power minus 1. So 2 to power 3 over x is equal to 2 over 3, 1. In this case, x equals to minus 1 or x equals to 1 because the basis, sorry, let me go up a bit. The basis are the same. So I will take the powers, the same thing here. The bases are the same. I will take the power. 